Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can see everything that is going on. Alrighty. Um. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um. This is the general reading, and first of all, I have a lot to say to you guys. Okay, you gotta be aware of um what is going on around you. Um, especially for the next um. Um, the next three months, um, because the energies are changing, the shift of the planet is here and the energies are definitely changing on the planets. There is so much deception. Um, even your own family will try to deceive you. Um, this is a time for healing, but, um, whatever is happening, there is, um, more dark energies that is coming down on this planet. Okay. And uh, more people who are calling in these dark energies. And we as light workers have to be fighting against the dark ones. Okay. Now, um, some of you will say, wasn't that what we, we have chosen? Yes, we have chosen it. But when we look at the energy of you guys, what is going on around you guys? You guys are basically creating this thing because of greed and because of... Uh, um, you know, people just want a lot. So that is where we're at. All right. What I'm seeing is just a lot of, uh, there's going to be, um, go back and look at my year prediction because there is just going to be, as we come to October, November, there is just going to be a shift of energy on this planet that is just going to create some high wave of uh, um clearing okay because um the the mother heart wants uh, um to bring back love and peace to this heart okay and this is what this heart was meant to be mother heart wants to bring back peace and love on this heart so that's what happened okay ladies and gentlemen what i'm doing basically um uh, I'm going to be off cameras because I got to get the message through for you guys. And by getting the message through, um, I have to be off camera. Okay. I am still here. Okay. With my fluffy yeah, jacket. Um, and, um, let's see this, um, this month of, uh, of October has to do with the energy of the tower. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. So what we're seeing is just that there could be some unexpected. Um, what they're showing me is unexpected. Oh, light beams. Clear me and show me. Um, unexpected. Um, volcano eruption um flights uh, something to do with the sea um current uh, um is going to be raising um a lot of uh, um um trepastrophe okay what is going to be happening is that they're going to be finding out about uh, a huge um job trafficking um a lot of a lot of scamping is going to be going on where um you know, protect yourself as you go on. A lot of internet um, break-in. People breaking in your internet on your phone, the hubs. New hubs are coming out that is stealing people money. All of that is happening. So, all the deceptiveness that was happening um, in the last couple of months, uh, what is going to be happening is that it is going to be released, okay? It's as if... The universe, the hurt is saying, no, no more. Um, we're not doing this anymore. Okay. So um, they're going to be bringing in and sharing the energies. Okay. I'm using this deck. I love this deck. It was given to me by a very, very good, um, somebody who is wonderful. Um, this deck basically is one of the most powerful decks ever. And why is it is that the colors awaken your chakra system, okay? The colors awaken your chakra system. And what it does basically is just move you to align with your right energies and to receive the message, okay? In the month of October, 
Um, we have five weeks. Thank God. Thank God. I love October. Remember, we have Halloween um, on the 31st. It is good on the week before the 31st to basically awaken. Um, you know, it's good to connect with the, the people, the um, unseen world. Okay. Because the Scorpius are going to be beginning their birthdays. Uh, um and uh, um the lebrans are having their birthdays okay lebrans and scorpion remember the houses scorpion is the eighth house um the lebran is uh, the uh seventh house okay so um don't forget these things because you need to know now why october is going to be such a month of uh, the tower month which is a fire energy let's see what's coming up in the general energies okay it's kind of weird because this is just so far but it's just so so let's see what's coming up okay let's see what's coming up for the month of october we have five week in the first week we have the wheel of fortune this is really wonderful this is going to be affecting a lot of people just it doesn't really matter what zodiac energy you are this is going to be affecting you. So this is um, really beautiful. Um, it's a fire week and it's good because I'm seeing with a tower breaking down, if you were having financial situation, financial problem, that is going to be removed. Then we have the Empress and this is good. So financial stability. So this was exactly what I was saying. And I wasn't even looking at the card, what I bring out. Um, it is that if some of you were having financial instability in your world, this is definitely, definitely going to be working out and there is going to be changes that is going to be coming in your life. And this is in the second week, we have an earth sign, so this is good. So the two first week in the general reading is just really good. As we look at the third week and the middle week, we have the energy of the air fans. So a lot of you, and this is what I just said, that there is going to be a lot of scamming. A lot of people are going to be finding that your information was being used. A lot of people are going to be finding that um, people are taking from their bank account because they're using these apps and these sort of a thing. So here we go where you're dealing with an organization and it has to do with your materialistic stability, okay? um let's see what the other card is coming up in the fourth in the fourth week um we have the energy of the tower so remember that this month energy is the energy of the tower and we come back with the energy of the tower so obviously there is situation there's lies deception organization unfit organization illegal um operation that has been going on is going to be found out in the month of october okay it is as if there is a sweep at some st stage of time, there is always a sweep that is coming in when the universe um, beckons to um, the masters and guides of this planet to say, hey, someone has to be um, the, you know, the clock worker who's going to tell what is transpiring and what is happening. So I'm seeing this sweep is coming down and a lot of transition is going to be coming in. As you look at this and you see what is happening, a lot of transition is going to be coming in because people, situation and organization, oh my God, justice, justice, justice. I am loving this month already, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, um, and this is why I'm saying I um, am changing up my energy vibration and I'm showing because uh, I have been on camera for quite some time. So, and now is the time that we are going to be aligning the energy. Seeing my face doesn't really um, help anything. Some people like to see, but the most important thing is the message that I have to say, okay? And the message is very important for a lot of you out there because I know you're waiting for these messages each and every month. Now, this is good. This is so good. All right, so I'm seeing we start with fire and we end with hair. So we have fire in the first week, second week we have the hurt, third week we have the hurt together, and this is good. Mother, a mother is standing up for the injustice of a child in the month of October. A mother is standing up for the injustice of a child in the month of October. There could be a situation where mothers are having 
kids being ill, going to the hospital and that sort of a thing. But this is a month where the mother is standing up for a child, okay? And making sure and, and, and blazing war to make sure that this child is protected, okay? Justice comes up because they have seen, and I hope you're seeing this, you guys, justice have come up because... What is happening and what is transpiring if you notice the energy of this month, because this is general energies. And I always say, go back, go back and check out, go back and check out um, the extended energies. OK, because what is happening and what is transpiring is that we are going to be seeing what his uh, this month is going to be looking like now. If you realize we have fire, we have hurt twice, we have fire again, and we have justice as air because we're balancing out situation. So let's go in this deeper and look because this is what I gave you guys. And I'm seeing a lot of parents fighting for injustice and equality. I see people, a lot of clock, clock, clock louders, we call them. We call them clock louders. It's going to be coming out and it's going to, especially shady companies are going to be falling. So if your company is shady, it's going to be falling. If your company is illegal, if your company is um, was built on a shady um, foundation, it's going to be coming down. Um, so situation like with abs that were made, that was stealing people money, that is going to be cut out totally because I'm seeing it's like a cleanup that is coming in and it's happening worldwide. So I'm seeing, um, companies who were, um, misusing the, um, situation of, uh, um, people's information and that sort of thing. They are going to be totally shut down and coming down. So what I'm seeing, especially for the ladies and the business people, is that business is going to be good, especially the people who um, honestly um, look um, to help humanity. Your business are going to be flowing. The shady people, the liars, the deception, the people that um, access other people information to get things. This shit is going down. Okay. It's, it, it's all going to be going down. Then when we look at the energy of justice, it's like, um, they, are, you know, it's, it's, it's as if there's a sweep and it's in every country, every organization, everything. Um, they're going to be finding people money laundering. They're going to be finding shady lawyers. They're going to be finding shady immigrations operations. They're going to be finding illegal, um, illegal pushing of, of people, people paying. Um, they're going to be finding a lot of people that is, uh, um, that is owned by a certain group and organization that has uh, illegally give them travel documents, that sort of a thing. They're going to be finding out the ways that people were sending people through. Uh, it, you know, it's going to be a global shift. The shift in October, especially global shift. But also we are going to be having some, um, some, some situation where we're going to be having, um, yeah, extreme weather changes i'm seeing just extreme weather changes that is coming up okay um the energy of the palladians are going to be coming out really and uh, i am seeing that a lot of people are going to be starting to choose spirituality a lot of people are going to be starting um to see the truth about things a lot of people are going to be happy for the clock louders and the people who are really standing up for equality in Egypt injustice okay so it, it that is the shift because we're moving into 2020 some of us have already shifted in 2020 so we're moving in 2020 and there's going to be a shift now as we look at this energy this is an energy that affects a lot of people it, it you know sometimes um, there are certain, sometimes Jupiter, once Jupiter is in your birth chart at this time and Jupiter is going to your birth chart, expect um, a lot of luck, okay? It doesn't really matter um, what zodiac energy you are. Now, 
as we look at the Empress, the Empress carries the energy of the Taurus and the the um, the Taurus. Uh, the Capricorns and the Taurus okay so this is a Capricorn this is a Taurus um, some Capricorn ladies can be very lucky with the energy of uh, um, this Empress um, so that that is another energy that is coming up but whatever is happening to shady organization especially government institutes um, um, company situation that is supposed to be helping humanity and um, there is shadow work, okay? Because what you people need to understand is that within every company, there is a shadow side, okay? Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this, and I, I just returned from North America, and I'm seeing all of this in the plain sight. But it's, it's as if, like they always said, the truth sits in the plain sight, and no one ever sees it, okay? And... Um, I have been doing research the last two and a half years. I was in North America and um, I I'm seeing the shadow um, like some people just don't see it. And I see it like some people, um, you know, uh, someone uh, someone said to me once, you're such a smarty nose. I'm not a smarty nose. I just see things and uh, um connect things together and connect the dot together that it is just so easy some people can see it some people can't see it so yeah whoever wants to think i'm a smart you know i i just connect the dots together and that's your opinion i am here to help humanity so your opinion i am here for the people who wants to know so and there's nothing to do with smart you know it's, it's just has to do with connecting the dots with certain thing so Capricorns are going to be feeling it in the second week. We're going to be seeing um, what is going to be happening with the Capricorns. Tauruses are here. This is the energy of the Taurus Groups Corporation Organization. Then we have the energy of the Tower. And I love this Tower because I'm seeing some people really bursting bubbles. And I'm seeing people like moving. It's like people saying, hey, back up, back up and moving towards and removing the deceptiveness people situation and protecting their kids there is this 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 energy vibration is about protecting your kids whatever is happening is about you blazing the storm protecting your kids for the people who have kids for the people who doesn't have kids it's like you're standing up for people who are unable to stand up for themselves and justice is going to be prevailing because ladies and gentlemen People think that there is no karma. You're about to see the shift coming up with karma. Wonderful energies, especially for the Capricorns, the Sagittarians, the Capricorns, the Caps Capricorns. You're going to be having such a success um, in the first week going in the second week. Oh, my God. You're going to be very, very successful with things and situation. Success is going to be huge. Um for the Sagittarians, the Ophiosis, and the Capricorn. Sagittarius, Ophiosis, and the Capricorn, Leo. Sagittarius, Leo, Ophiosis, and the Capricorns in the first and second week. It is just going to be fantastic. Now, in the end of the second week, going in the third week, what we're seeing here is that we're dealing with the Pisces. Whatever secrets that people have, whether... Um, and, 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 and the corporation have over a Pisces, they're going to be breaking down and, and, and ripping a corporation out, okay? So Pisces are going to be seeing the truth because they're looking in the glass. The Pisces are seeing the lies and deception behind situation and they and the Capricorns are going to be working together to bring positive alignment of energy and show the lies and deceptiveness in situation and organization and this is going to be good because um pisces and and the capricorns are very good together because what is happening is that uh, um this is a water sign and uh, this is a heart sign but they're spiritually connected and aligned now what is happening is that this Capricorn could be going in alignment with a Taurus and a Pisces. And trust me, they're going to be making a shift. They're going to be helping to make a shift. So this is good. So um, um, Pisces in the second week, going in the third week, you're going to be connecting with Taurus and Capricorn people. And they're going to be helping you to make a shift. And that is going to be good. It's positive. 
transition um is here for the virgos and this is going to be coming up in the third week going in the fourth week so um pisces and virgos could be connecting we're going to be seeing how are they going to be connecting but they could be working together in a corporation to bring the truth out okay because i'm seeing them in a corporation and they could be working together in a corporation to bring the truth out as we look at the fourth week i god i love the four weeks you know a lot of people do not like the energy of the the um do not like the energy of the tower but i love the energy of the tower because it's about breaking down and this is what this um this month is all about it's about taking down things that doesn't serve any purpose and this energy of the tower is coming in um where um this is like a general energy that is coming in that um affect things and people and situations so the virgos you could be affect from uh, there could be some effectiveness for the virgos because there is going to be transition that is coming up unexpected transition for you virgos is coming up and also for the aquarians okay um judgment is going to be coming down on the aquarians you got to be careful you aquarians what side of the law you sit on because you are going to be judged at the end of the five week they are going to be seeing what you have done you aquarians because the tower moment is coming for you aquarians and it has to do with a legal situation they are going to be finding out what you aquarius have done and they are going to be bringing down the energy of uh, um laying down the rules for you aquarians so you gotta be careful now when the energy of the tower comes out the energy of the tower has to do with uh, injustice in equality when the universe this is a karma card when the universe comes in and said hey 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 so a car uh, um, um aquarius and virgos are going to be touched by this situation in the fourth week going into fifth week now in the fifth week a lot of people are going to be affected by legal issues and that sort of a thing but um the 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 aquarians are going to be feeling it more and 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 lawyers so i'm, I'm seeing that some lawyers are going to be finding themselves on the wrong side of the law and it they're going to be really dealt with very harshly um this energy comes up in the second week um and this is affecting um the, the the capricorns the capricorns are being affected by the energy of the emperor now the energy of the emperor um i'm seeing a lot of capricorns could be getting promotion and a lot of capricorns their business could be taken off so it's a good period for the capricorns your birthdays are coming up and um for um um for the young aries there is going to really be some problems because your secret is going to be coming out so for the young Aries, you are going to be really having some problems because your secrets is about to come out because the eye princess is going to, whatever you have been done is as if this month is a month of karma that needs to clear up your shit. So um, you need um, to be aligned. Chariot is that um, um, some of you, um, especially um, people in uh, that is having issues with organization secrets are coming out about this organization and you're going to be victorious and successful so let's say that you were um fighting with an organization for injustice and equality yes the secrets are going to be coming out and it's definitely with these secrets coming out you are definitely definitely going to be seeing the truth is going to be coming out about an organization and that's what i said judgment judgment is coming down and especially with this this tower and judgment oh my god there is going to be especially for a virgo and um a, a virgo and a aquarian om hey now justice comes down and um the um the aquarians and the scorpions are going to be feeling this move okay the aquarians and the scorpion justice is going to be coming down on this aquarian and their scorpions in um the month of um 
in the last week. It could happen sometimes else. It depends on your vibrational energy. But if you were in a relationship, if a scorpion and Aquarius have done some illegal things, justice is coming down on them. As we look at the energy um, for the for the Tauruses, I'm seeing secrets. I'm seeing some Tauruses or secrets in an organization is going to be coming out. I'm seeing Tauruses in business secrets in an organization is going to be coming out. And you could be the one bringing them out, but you're bringing an end to some deceptive move in an organization because it's as if this information needs to come out. Okay, this information really, really, really needs to come out. And what we're seeing here is that people in business, this is going to be especially the Capricorns in business. Wow, it is 